Okay, let's see how this goes. I saw a video on uh, YouTube where a guy dissected a six volt lantern battery and uh, cut off the top, pried it open, and poured out a whole bunch of AA batteries. Now the cost of a six volt battery is roughly three or four bucks. I think I paid three or maybe 350 for this one. However, the cost of all the AA's inside would be far surpass that. So if this uh, theory is true, there's a huge money savings to go to go around. So I'm gonna now try and dissect one that I just bought from the store. You can see it's still plastic wrapped, bought it from Home Depot. So we're gonna uh, run the video through, dissecting this from scratch. Hopefully I can keep the camera on it the whole time so you don't think there's any tricks. So first thing we're gonna do, Cut off the plastic wrap. The next thing the guy did was remove the label. But I don't think we have to because you can see that the top of the case isn't even behind the label in this case. So let's just see if I can pry it open without. Apparently not. I have no idea what I'm going to do if I am now releasing the acid chambers to this battery. It's something I surely should have thought about in advance. Oh, this looks interesting. Well, there's probably no reason to continue further. It's obvious that he is way wrong. This is far, whatever it is, is far larger than a double A. But what the hell, I'll continue on. There you go, those are not double A's. They are indeed batteries, but they are no normal standard sized batteries. They're something specifically designed for, who knows, maybe only six volt lanterns. Maybe they're in smaller units like this to accommodate other types of batteries. But the, middle, the riddle, the mystery is almost solved. Now this is an ever ready, super heavy duty. Uh, maybe different brands do different things. I don't know. There you have it. According to this experiment, it's not real. <laughs>